Hi everybody, welcome to The Regretful Yarn Addict and another stitch tutorial. Today we will be learning the bean stitch. Look at this, all these nice little beans. Very nice. So we've got this one made using, I love this cotton, uh, sprinkle me this, 83% cotton, acrylic, viscose, polyester. And then I did one in a variegated yarn. This is Scrubby Smoothie, uh, Waves. This is 100% cotton, correct? Am I right? One hundred percent cotton, and this comes out nice and variegated as well. But today we are going to be doing this one using Scrubby Smoothie in bright orange. Okay, this stitch is a yarn eater. This is what I have left. out of this ball. This is trying to let me see how much is in it. Three and a half ounces, 153 yards. And this is what I've got left. But it's got such a nice texture to it. I mean, really, look at those beans. You can really see them in this one. All those little beans. It's a, a nice, thick fabric. Looks the same on the front and the back. Um, this can be used for anything. I mean, I'm making a dishcloth, but you can make sweaters with this. Uh, I don't know if I'd make a summer shirt with it or not. It might be kind of warm. Scarves, hats, mittens, blankets, sweaters, coats. Anything you can imagine can be made using this stitch. It's very easy. It's a one row repeat once you get going. And um, yeah, I think you're going to like it. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, everybody, so let's gather our supplies. Today I'm going to be using Smoothie Scrubby, and the, I'm going to assume the color is orange. It doesn't matter. It's discontinued. I'm going to need a crochet hook, and today I am using my trusty tulip, 5 millimeter. You'll need one of these little babies, a darning needle, for when you're finished so you can sew in those pesky ends and a pair of scissors to cut off those pesky ends. Oh no, I dropped my needle. I hope I find it later. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get this started. The bean stitch is done in any multiple that is an even number, divisible by two. So we're going to go ahead and chain two. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. And by magic, I now have 30 done. Now we are going to go ahead and do a single crochet in every single one of those chains, starting second from the hook, which would be this one right here. And I'm just going to flip this baby upside down and go in the back bumps. So one, two, no, I'm not an expert at that. Three, four. 
five. I'm going to stop right here and let you know you can do your single crochets any way you want. If you want to go ahead and do a chainless foundation single crochet, do 29. And I will meet you when we get to the end. It's like, wow, don't you wish you could crochet this fast? I now have 29 single crochets done. <clears throat> we are going to turn our work. And now we start the bean stitch after we get this first single crochet in. Now, I don't chain one when I do a single crochet, but if you feel more comfortable doing so, then by all means, do it. Okay, now we're gonna skip this next stitch, and then in this third one, no, we're just gonna put our hook through, grab our yarn and pull it up, wrap, Go through that same stitch, pull up a loop, wrap, go through, pull up a loop. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook. Wrap your loop, pull through all six loops, chain one. We're going to skip a stitch and then to this next stitch, we're going to do another bean. And we're just going to pop our hook in there, grab some yarn and pull it up, wrap our hook, go back in there, pull up another loop, wrap our hook, go back in, pull up another loop, six little loops on our hook, wrap it, pull it through all six, chain one, skip a stitch, go into that stitch, grab some yarn and pull it up. Wrap, go back in, grab some yarn and pull it up. Wrap, go back in, grab your yarn, pull it through. Six loops on your hook, go through all of them. Chain one. We're going to do this all the way to the end. So we're going to skip, put our hook in, grab some yarn and pull it through. Wrap, in, grab, pull, wrap, in, grab, pull, six loops, wrap your hook, pull through all six, chain one, skip, do it all over again, go through that stitch, grab some yarn, wrap your hook, go back in, grab some yarn, wrap your hook, Go back in, grab that yarn, pull it back through, wrap your hook, and go through all six loops. Chain one. Skip. Bet you we're going to do it again. Wrap, in, grab, pull, wrap, in, grab, pull. Six loops. All through. Chain one. Skip. <clears throat> and again, put your hook through the stitch, grab some yarn, pull it through, wrap your hook, go back into that stitch, grab some yarn and pull it up. One more time, a wrap, in, grab, pull, six loops, grab some yarn, pull it all the way through, chain one skip and we're going to do this a couple more times and I'm just going to sit here and do it with you. Skip that, go back in.
Okay, I'm at the end. I have two stitches left. I'm going to skip that one. And then that very last one, a single crochet. Ta-da! You've got your first row of beans done. Let's turn that over. <clears throat> <coughs> so here's the thing. Every row starts and ends with a single crochet. So we're going to go ahead and put that single crochet in. Now, take a look at your bean. You've got this space right there between the bean and there, and then that space over there. We want this space right here. And we're going to want that space in every single bean. So that space right there. We're going to go in, pop our hook through, grab some yarn, pull it up, wrap, in, grab, pull, wrap, in, grab, pull, and again, we've got six loops. Pull it through, chain one, and we'll go into that next space right there, that little hole right there. There's your beano, there's your space, your little V. Pop it in, and we're just making beans again. Just like that. Find that spot right there, push your bean over to get it out of the way, and make another bean. chain to close it up. There's your space right there. Right there. So you find your space do not wrap your hook when you go through the first time. Just go through, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap, in, pull, wrap, in, pull. Do that twice. You wind up with six loops on your hook, pull through, make a chain. Find that little spot right there. See that little spot? If you're wondering what this is, this is just so I don't go out of frame. I hope it's not too annoying. Chain one. Push your bean out of the way, get that spot, go in there, grab your yarn. Wrap in, grab, pull, wrap in, grab, pull, six loops. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your yarn and pull through all of them. Make a chain. And we're just going to continue doing this. Okay, we're down to our last bean. So we're just gonna find our space right there. Make our bean. Our chain. And then we're gonna go into that last single crochet and make a single crochet. And there you have it, you've done two rows of beans.
Just like that, it's basically a one row repeat. We are gonna go ahead, turn, we don't want that one. And just like before, you do a single crochet. Then you find your spot next to your bean and you make a bean. We're planting beans. Find that spot. And that's all there is to it, you guys. I'll see you when we get a few rows done and we'll finish it off. Here we are, I've got just a few rows done. I'm gonna go ahead and do about 22 rows. So it's about the size of this one. And uh, I'll see you then to show you how exactly I'm gonna finish this off. So here we are, I have got 22 rows done. Now, Pop that over there so it doesn't fly away. And turn my work. And I'm going to put a single crochet into that first stitch. And then I'm going to put a single crochet all the way across. So you get up here and you see all your little V's. So you've got all your V's all the way across. We're gonna put a single crochet in every single one of those. So you've got that one right there at the top of your bean. Put a single. And then in your space, a single. And then at the top of your bean, a single. In your space, top of your bean, space, all the way across, just like this. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and do a border, but I don't think this really needs one. So we've got a row of singles at the bottom and a row of singles at the top. And take my scissors, cut off just enough to sew in an end. And I'm going to wrap that pull it through, pull it tight, and then I will just take my trusty darning needle and I will go across for a few stitches and then I'll go back and then I'll go this way and then I'll cut it off. So I hope this was a fun stitch for you to learn or relearn. And thank you for watching.